a woman and as an actor, is it difficult setting your worth early on? And do you have any advice for those who are coming up in the industry? Um, it's almost impossible to set your own worth. Uh, that's why we have equity minimum rates, the union minimum rates. Um, and increasingly actors are being asked to work for those minimum rates. Um, certainly with the streaming services, you know, although they are producing more staff, uh, without a content quote, Australian content quota, which I hope will come, um, you know, it's becoming increasingly difficult. So uh, the market sets your worth and um, unfortunately we still suffer from a cultural cringe in that if you haven't made it overseas, you're not considered as valuable as someone who has worked here solidly. So it's, a, it's an interesting conundrum, but you know, one, one episode of A Place to Call Home, the budget for that would not buy you one American actor in a leading American show. And yet we're all consuming content, uh, local content rates well overseas, we enjoy it. We see a night like tonight, everyone celebrating supposed growth in the industry. How do you feel about the current state of things at the moment and what makes you uh, most hopeful? What makes me most hopeful is the diversity that's starting to appear on our screens, television and film. Uh, you know, we're not exclusively presenting ourselves as a white middle class nation. And I think that's really time, well overdue. Um, yeah, that's all I want to say about that. Is there anything though that's disappointing or that isn't changing fast enough? Yeah, look, increasing, well, diminishing. I've seen a complete diminishing of the opportunities. Um, you know, theatre companies being closed down, uh, reality shows being counted as Australian content, New Zealand shows being counted as Australian content. Uh, so it's it's really and, and taking away children's hours from television. You know, so I think we really need to fight very hard to to make it known what what value we bring as an industry, not just to by telling stories, but also in terms of tourism and you know, international diplomacy, you know, we, we are an entree card. Um, Through the arts, you have a, a way of soft diplomacy, if you like. And so that's not appreciated. We're called the elite, and there's nothing elite about being an artist in Australia, believe me. And you're one of the very few that's had incredible success over the long term. Uh, are you frustrated at the LA drain that comes from here? It seems like everyone just gets through and goes on the fast track through to Hollywood. Well, because there's far more opportunities there. You know, it's a much bigger industry. The money is much better. Um, I, I actually think they're a bit top heavy in their in their budgets, but uh, it, it doesn't frustrate me as such, but it frustrates me that we regard that as the only real valuable industry, that what we do here is somehow littler, whereas what we do here is world class, otherwise our technicians and our creatives and our actors wouldn't be employed constantly all, our, all around the world. In terms of the broader industry, we've had a real mixed bag, so perhaps some people are really negative, some people are saying that there's a lot of positive things happening with the streaming services coming in. Are you hopeful about anything coming out of Australia in coming years? Yeah, look, I think we still always need to um, push forward Australian stories and make sure we uh, um, that we get that government funding. Um, I think we shouldn't be complacent around uh, how we place ourselves within the bigger market, which is... Um, changing drastically, changing dynamically and we need to make sure that our film and television industry are very much part of that and we don't lose out to um, or, or swallowed up by a lot of other content that isn't Australian content. So very much it's important that we, we keep the foot on the pedal and that we keep lobbying government. Yeah, some really interesting comments there on the red carpet. Speaking to Camille Bianchi. Well